I want us now to look at some subordinate sentences with three conjunctions at, om, and som. Well, first of all, at means that. Om means if, in the sense of I wonder if, I don't know if, and so on. And som means which, that, or who, and it replaces a subject or an object. So let's just look at some examples. So, at. Han sier at vi har norskprøve på onsdag. He says that. So, at introduces some information. Han sier at. Jeg vet at hun bor i Oslo. I know that she lives in Oslo. Again, I know that. So, at introduces some extra information. What do you know? He says that. What is he saying? Uh, I know that. What do I know? Vi forstår at det ikke er lett å komme til et nytt land. We understand that it's not easy to come to a new country. And again, what do we understand? We introduce it by the conjunction at. Han er sikker på at hun klarer det. He is sure that she will manage, she will deal with it. Klarer det. Så so, at introduces a subordinate sentence, which is an object of the whole sentence of the main sentence. Ja, han sier at, he says that, jeg vet at, I know that, um, vi forstår at, we understand that, and han er sikker på at, he is sure that. So that was at, and let us look at om. Han spør om, vi har norskprøve på onsdag. He asks if, so see the difference. He says that, han sier at, han spør om, so he asks if. Han spør om vi har norsk prøve på onsdag. So here, he's not sure he's asking. Jeg lurer på om hun husker mig. I wonder if she remembers me. Jeg lurer på om. I wonder if. Jeg vet ikke om han vil få jobben. I don't know if he will get the job. So see this, om is if. I wonder if, he asks if, I don't know if. And just pay attention, om is not the same as this. So, this introduces a condition like that. Jeg vet ikke om han vil få jobben. I don't know if he will get the job. And then, hvis han får jobben, blir jeg glad. If he gets the job, I will be happy. So, this this introduces this condition. If he gets the job, I will be happy. If he doesn't get the job, well, probably I will not be so happy. So, this is a condition. Om introduces this uncertainty. Jeg vet ikke om han vil få jobben. Like, I don't know if, I wonder if, and so on. And just a little bit more about the subjunction som. Som connects two sentences by replacing a subject or an object. Like this. Jeg har ei veninne. Hun jobber som frisør. I have a friend. She works as a hairdresser. Jeg har en veninne som jobber som frisør. You see, I just replaced hun with som. So I replaced the subject with subjunction som. Han har en datter. Han er veldig glad i henne. Han har en datter som han er veldig glad i. So you see, han er veldig glad i henne. He really loves her. He loves her very much. So, henne is the object. And now we replace the object with som. And just pay attention, you have to keep the preposition in the end. Han har ei datter som han er veldig glad i. Yeah, so that was it. So, three very common subjunctions. At, which means that. Om, which means if. And som, which means that, which or who and replaces a subject or an object.